<laughs> Variety artists Norman Long, Clapman Dwyer, Billy Bennett and a few pals get together to play a round of golf in a new way. And who's to say it isn't a good way? <laughs> oh, he's got the line. Say, boys, you ever hear this one about a fellow met a pal of his in the street, you see? Yeah. And he said to me, he said, tell me, old man, he said, uh, who was that lady I saw you with last night? So the other one said, that, that wasn't a lady, that was my wife. Word, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. 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 Well, why was she wearing a mask? And the other one said, That wasn't a mask! That was her face! They've all heard it. Yes, uh, but not lately. <laughs> this 168-foot mast of a special high tensile steel he is all ready to be stepped aboard Mr. Sopwith's new yacht, Endeavour the Second, the latest challenger for the America's Cup. The giant 250-ton floating crane from Portsmouth Dockyard has been brought over for the job, because it's the only one that's tall enough to lift this outsize in steel spars. The mast has been built up in sections, each electrically welded to the next, and the whole put to the severest tests to discover any possible weakness. For when the Endeavour is all out with her mainsail bellied in a good breeze, the pressure at the mast peak will be over 10 tonnes to the square inch. When it's finally in position, the mast looks out of all proportion to the yacht's hull, out of all proportion even to the battleships in the harbour. A triumph of the designer's skill. <laughs> 